morning everybody um thank you so much for being here first of all and uh, this is nupur with the uh, team inception and uh, we are presenting our project relf which is a house predictor and um, here are these just give me one sec there's some technical issues going on okay and here are the superheroes of the team ken henry and kus and i would like to as a team um really thank you chris our facilitator who has been a great support throughout the project uh relf is a machine learning model um and it's designed to estimate the real estate value of any house based on based on the historical and statistical data uh the problem we tried to approach here is basically most of the time we have seen you know the uh, uh appraisal and the valuation concepts are very historical and it's a very tedious and overwhelming process for someone who is willing to either sell a house or buy any property and uh, like for the solution uh, like you know we try to bridge the gap and uh, like this model will basically assist in effective decision making and uh, will also uh, like you know provide a quick estimate on any anybody's fingertips so they can just get get a quick value uh, like you know with some features they they have to input there and um, like it, it's more like a bundle deal it's not just for buyer, buyers and sellers it's also going to provide uh, um, like you know estimate to any management or builders who are looking to get get that information i'm actually going to hand over to kush who can discuss more about the model and the technologies we have used from here thanks nupur we can only use the model if the data is similar in nature the model is based on previous statistic it is an entirely data driven decision we we use cap and henry will explain about it later on uh, for our app Uh, we use HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and React technologies side. And for the backend or API server, we use Node.js, MongoDB, and Python. I will hand over to Ken to explain about it later on. Uh, so these are the features that we have on our website. Uh, we have a cell that has a bunch of houses already kind of in our database. Uh, these are just a set of houses to make it easier to compare. your house was with which was already on the market just to give you a better idea uh the main uh feature of a uh website is the house price predictor it uses set, some set data points and a machine learning algorithm to uh give you a predicted price of your house uh the, we have another page to upload more houses to the carousel uh, that way we can just kind of keep things more uh, updated and relevant so we're not just using a bunch of old posts uh it's a single user page which makes it really easy for the clients to use uh, which is kind of the point because we want to make the whole process easier to get a price of your house versus the older more intensive method uh a quick quote is what uh, a quick quote is uh easy estimate calculator it uses just four points of data that most homeowners know about the house to give you a uh, price for the house a uh, future prospects uh, what we'd like to be able to add to the site in the future is an ms say mls data feed to give you a real time comparison with what's currently on the market and we want to add a more complete quote uh, feature which add which adds more data points to give you a more accurate uh, uh price prediction uh, we want to be able to incorporate say go back <laughs> i wasn't done thank you Uh, we want to be able to make it so that the location of the uh house has a can be incorporated into the price prediction and we want to be able to at you know send people reports based on their comparisons next thank you potential clients uh private buyers and sellers is just a quick way for them to get a an idea for the cost of the house uh builders and developers again just to refer to get a rough idea of what things are worth real estate brokerages it's also just anybody who's curious hey i wonder what my house is worth or i wonder what that house is worth it's just a quick easy way to know and now i talk about the machine learning model i'll hand it off to henry hi 
and me there. Yeah, I'm here. So uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, so uh, thank you, Ken. So a few questions we asked ourselves at the early stage of this project. We needed to establish a good relationship between full stack developers and machine learning analysts. We always hear about models, models. And now the big question is, of what use is a model if you cannot deploy your model to be on the back end of a website? So one key thing we achieved in this project, this project has given us the enablement to understand how to deploy a machine learning model to be at the back end of a website. So a brief definition of what machine learning is can be found on our PowerPoint screen by IBM definition, allow the data to understand itself and make a prediction. So in this study, what we try to build a model that can be deployed at the back end of the website so that once you come to the website and you want to buy a house or you want to get a quote, you put in your information, the model should be able to give you an accurate price of how much the house is worth. So in order for us to achieve this, there wasn't any model at our disposal at the early stage of this project. So we took it upon ourselves that we are going to build a model that we can end up deploying at the back end of the website. So we got the data set we used for this study from the Cargo website. The Cargo website is a data scientist website where you can get any kind of data if you have an intention of engaging in a competition. So what we have done in this project, we took it from the stage of just building a model and at the end, we took it from the stage of just building a model, but we went further to see how a model can be deployed at the back end of a website. So when we, got the, we, when, we, when we got the data and we imported the data, we found out based on the historic sales they have made, you're gonna find out on this side, you can see the sales price. So the data set has about 1,460 rows and 81 columns. So on the other side, these are all the parameters that you need to put in to have an idea how much the price cost. And in the cost of our study, we meant to understand what is called users friendly. Nobody's gonna build a website and you ask somebody to put in 81 informations before the person is gonna have an idea how much the price costs. That is not gonna be a friendly website. So we took it upon ourselves. How do we reduce these 80 parameters that decide the price rate? So what we did in this study, we tried to find out what are the key parameters? What are the key features? that can actually decide what the price of the building is. So in order for us to do this, we needed to remove some features that are not essential in the study. So one thing we did, we removed features based on multicollinearity. And for us to achieve this, we used the concept of VIA, variance inflation factor and heat map to remove features that are not essential for the studies. So this is a picture of the heat map we plotted for the 80 columns of data so that we can be able to remove features that are having high multicollinearity. And after that, we decided to have an idea. How are these parameters affecting the sales price? So we plotted some pictures to see parameters that have strong correlation with the sales price because we needed to build the model or a website that is highly users friendly. You put in few features and you get your price. So based on these, we were able to select parameters that are highly dependent on the sales price. Then for, this, that for the study to make sense, we needed to ensure that the sales price, which is our dependable parameter, is, is expressing a Gaussian distribution. By the time we plotted it, we found out that the data wasn't Gaussianly distributed because it has a skew that is more than 1.5. So the next step of our study was to ensure that the data becomes normalized. By the time we applied the log-log method, the dependable parameter which we wanted to build the model to predict, which is our sales price, 
you can see that our sales price now is now highly normalized, having a reasonable skewness and a reasonable codosis, and the histogram is now well distributed. Another concern we have, unlike many theories that will say this model is better than this model, in our project, we never accepted that argument. We felt there is a need to expose best performing regressional model to the data and find out which of this model is going to capture the actual behavior of the history. So you can see from our study, we try SGB, which is an award winning model as used mostly by most competitors in the, in the cargo competition. We also use card boost regressor and we also use the LGB. And in, in, to ensure that this model are at their best hyperparameter, we use the Bayesian model to make sure that we get the best out of them. And by the time we started training the model, you can find out here that SGB was doing actually good. It gave us a percentage of 84% accuracy, which wasn't bad. And LGM gave us a prediction percentage of 88% accuracy, which was also awesome. And then card boost gave us almost 100% accuracy. So with card boost, we found out that we can be able to predict sales price of the product. And so we decided to deploy card boost model at the back end of our website, which we're going to be dis displaying on the next stage of the presentation. Thank you once again. So I will just go right away to the uh, I will just go right away to the to the demo of uh, I will just go right away to the demo of our website. So this is what our website looks like. By the time you sign on to our website, it's just like every other website. If you want to buy a house. You can see different types of houses that is on sale. If you go through all the pictures as the carousel moves, if you see any house that interests you, all you need to do is to contact the house owner and say, hey, I have interest in this house. And we also have, we also have a login page if the admin has built a new house and they want to put the new house on sale, all they just need to do is to come to the admin section, they sign on here, they go to upload, go to this section, taking a picture, taking a picture, put down the price of the pictures, put down the price, maybe the location is in southeast of Calgary. It has about four rooms, it has about three beds, and then you hit submit, it gets deposited in the, in the, in the database. And then if after going through all the pictures the company has for sale, and you're not okay with the one you have. You want to make your own specification. That is where the deployment of the model comes in. All you just have to do is to go to the quick notes. If you go to the quick notes, this is where, these are the four key parameters that affect the prediction of the prices. So once you get to Henry, the quick quote. Sorry, Henry, you have one minute left, okay? So once you come to the quick quote, and then you put in parameter, you put in maybe these, you put in eight, you put in a year built, maybe 1999, and then you put in this other one, and you hit boom. Then the website will just give you the price that the house is gone for. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this presentation, and thanks once again to Chris, who actually gave us a, a mentorship that is worth it, and we use this opportunity to thank him once again.